Hej hej, där så här och så samma. Hello everyone. Today we're taking the tourist route from Malmö Triangle to Malmö Stortorget. So come along with me as I show you all the places where you might want to go when you're here in Malmö. And yeah, subscribe to my channel and let's go. Okay, starting off with an obvious one, you have to buy candy when you're in Sweden. In Sweden we have a pretty special candy culture, meaning that we only eat candies on Saturdays. And we have some staples that we always must have, and it might be good for you to bring some of these back home. So we have the Czech Spuklar, the Polly, that's my dad's favorite, and also the Bilar. So of course all these candies you can find in the regular grocery stores, but they also have the Cloetta candy store in the center of the city which is very quick and convenient and also have a lot of varieties but if you're not a sweet tooth like me you might appreciate this store right here Småland that has a lot of interior design some clothing some kids stuff they have everything but like Scandina Scandinavian Swedish style this is actually the first time I'm in this store, but it's definitely on the list to go back to whenever I feel like looking at furniture or very Scandi style. the hjärta finns the room. That's a very popular saying in Swedish that means like if you have a heart in it, if you love the people, then there's always space. Another misconception about the Fjällraven Konken is that it's less expensive to buy here in Sweden than compared to other countries, which most of the time is false, since the Fjällraven Konken is pretty expensive in Sweden, even though it's a very common bag and I see many people walking around with it to school. But it's not something I would recommend buying in Sweden if you have it in your home country. But this Mygga Balm or Mosquito Balm I definitely recommend buying since it's really good and prevents mosquitoes from giving you mosquito bites. It's the perfect thing for any summer or for any climate that has a lot of mosquitoes. This is Lakritz, a liquor, black licorice store that is fully de dedicated to everything that has to do with black licorice. They do not only have candies, they have soft serve, they have shower gel, toothpaste, almost everything you can think of. And most people in Sweden, we actually do like licorice. Do you like licorice? Please leave a comment down below if it's just a Swedish thing or like a Scandinavian thing or if it's a worldwide thing because I know that many people here they do like licorice and I don't really think that that's very common but anyways if you like black licorice or if you want to bring some black licorice back home or if you want to try it this is the perfect store for you and you can even try their soft serve that it's served in this black cone it has really good ice cream it's like the perfect black licorice ice cream it's really good and they have stores all over the city center now we're going 
to the OG Design Toriet store, which is in the city center. It's bigger than the one that they have in Emporia and also has a better assortment of stuff. They always have something fun and interesting that's very Sweden, Scandi style. But their stuff is probably a lot more portable than the stuff in Småland. And they also have fun little stickers, tote bags. You can even buy a bicycle helmets. They have everything. our favorite gelateria in the city center because usually they're in a different area of Malmö but they have two locations and we found their city center location so if you're in the mood for gelato go to Via Palermo I promise you they're gonna have good ice cream but we were not really in the mood for gelato since it was lunchtime and we were hungry so we wanted to get the Malmö national dish which is kebab and we were very close to the allegedly best kebab place in Malmö that many of my friends have recommended. But I definitely do not agree. This is not the best kebab in Malmö. I've tried way better. So instead of going to this place, which is called Badran Super Falafel, go to Schöpenhams Falafel, that's in Schöpenhamsvägen. They have way better kebab and that's our guy, like our kebab guy. He always knows what he's doing and the kebab always turns out amazing. Despite what people say, don't go here, go to Schöpenhams Falafel. This is all I had for you today, but of course our walk is not over, we still have a lot to go. So tune in on Wednesday to see the rest of the video. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Please like and always comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Hey Dua, and I'll see you in the next one.